This time we have an Alienware X17R1. This one's actually been sent around a little bit. The customer had spilled something on the keyboard and so they had to take apart the machine and change out the keyboard and the power button. But in the process, they damaged the left light connector on the motherboard. So they sent the motherboard over to Northridge Fix for them to check out the motherboard for any corrosion and to replace that connector. Well, they inspected the board, made sure everything worked, but they never replaced that connector. So then the customer sent the motherboard off to logicct.com to get that connector replaced. But when they got the motherboard back, the motherboard no longer works and it gives a 3.5 error, which points to a bad power rail or a missing power rail. So let's see if we can get this one figured out. This must be maybe from Northridge Fix or, or one of the other guys that it went to. Hopefully they did not put liquid metal back on this. Okay, here we go. Let's take it off. And we do have liquid metal on here, which I'm kind of surprised. And what I want to do is I want to plug in the power and see if we're getting all of our power rails. The three volt, and the five volt should be coming up, which are these two. Let me clean off this liquid metal. I just don't want this getting everywhere because I don't want it to get on any of these chips. Because if you get a drop on one of these chips, the gallium inside of that liquid metal will eat away aluminum. And so it will very easily, um, what is that? What is that? Uh, there's a problem. This looks pretty bad. Pretty corroded. We're gonna go ahead and take a look around real quick. What's this? Ah, oh, look at this, more corrosion. Look at all this corrosion on these. Corrosion here, corrosion here, corrosion here. Oh my gosh. So there's our problem, I think. This capacitor looks pretty janky. We have lots of corrosion here, lots and lots of corrosion. I mean, look at all this. This is crazy. Oh. Look what else we notice. This pad is gone. So this whole area is pretty messed up. I don't even know how this board would have turned on at this point. I mean, look at all this. This is crazy. Yeah, so it doesn't look like uh, it was completely cleaned out, but we've got to repair this pad. We're gonna have to change out that chip, clean up all this. This thing does not want to come off. Finally. All right, we got it installed. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in a sideways orientation. That way it, it makes contact with that pad right there. Perfect, beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and do an ultrasonic clean on this entire board before I do a full reassembly and test. So I'm gonna put it in. Okay, so it's done with doing the ultrasonic cleaner. I did a couple cycles. See how clean it is after it went through the ultrasonic cleaner. All the chips look really good here. So now we could do a, a complete reassembly. Here we go, we're pulling three amps, 2.8 amps. All right, we've got the Alienware screen, getting 240 frames per second. So I would say that that's working just fine.